Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Welcome to a very kind of stormy Sunday um, for my Facebook Live. I was hoping we wouldn't have any problems with power outages. We got like an incredible storm tonight. Hi Judy, welcome. Hi Mickey. So yeah, it got really crazy here tonight. There was tons and tons of lightning. We had um, Sunday fun day tonight, or today I should say, and um, we had a bunch of people over swimming and their kids, and we had a little meal, and uh, then all of a sudden it's like these storms started rolling in and the lightning got really, really crazy. Then we got a ton of rain, like... I don't know if my husband's going to have to pump our pool down or not, but urgh, it was nuts. Hello, Carol. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Lisa. Welcome. Oh, Heather. Hi from Alaska. It's raining there. Well, good. I'm glad you're not having any storms. We've got Heather and Angela, Susan, Simon, Elaine. Hi. I have some really fun projects for you guys tonight. I can't hardly wait to get started. I'm going to take care of a few um, housekeeping items. So I wanted to show you, I kind of always review the cards that I made and posted this week. Um, on Monday, I had a um, Control Freaks blog hop. And our theme was masculine cards. It was for the dudes in our life. So these are the two cards I made, and I used the letter board messages on both of these. That's a brand new um, stamp set in the annual catalog. And also that, um, whoops, let me do this backwards, um, that Ad Adriandak chair that I just love. That is good for so many different things. And then this one, whoops, <laughs> you guys, I'm mirroring this, so it's a little confusing for me. I'll get used to it. Um, this has the leaves in it from the Rooted in Nature stamp set and also the Rooted in Nature um, designer series paper. So hi, Nicole. Hi, Leanna. If you are joining me um, live, that's awesome. Please let me know where you're coming from. You need to make a comment so you can be entered in a drawing to um, win prizes. So I have three drawings. One is for commenting. One is for sharing the video, so make sure you share my video. Thank you, Kathy, for the share. That's awesome. And then for placing online orders, which I always appreciate. So three ways to win. And if you're watching this later after I'm live on YouTube, you can also share the video on YouTube. So don't forget to do that. And then under the YouTube video, you'll find a link right to my Facebook page. If you go there and click on like, and then a drop down menu comes and you click on following, when I am live on Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central, you will get a notification telling you that Kelly is live right now and you can watch live. And you have a couple other options for winning prizes when you watch live, too. Hi, Linda. Hi, Shelby. Hi, Charlene. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I also have this card, just in case you missed it. This was my card that I posted for my Feature Friday video on my blog. And um, you can find my blog, by the way, right here at www.astampabove.com. And if you're going to be placing an online order with me, you want to use this hostess code. This will get you special perks. Okay, let's see. So we've got this card where I stamped directly on that um, Wood Textures Designer Series paper. I thought that was a really cool technique. And then I colored it in with Stampin' Blends. Video tutorial is on my blog on Friday. Oh, thank you so much. Love my top. Yeah, this has got like bling bling all over it. I love this one too. Thank you. Patty, welcome. Patricia, glad you could tune in. And then you can see this card that I shared on Saturday with a video tutorial uses the outside of, whoops, this card. So I cut the inside out of the card, on uh, the hello card, and um, use the negative for the proud card. 
So isn't that kind of nifty? Don't want to throw anything away, right? We love that wood texture paper. Oh, thanks, Linda. Yes, my nails are bright. This is um, Granny Apple Green or Lemon Lime Twist. I think Lemon Lime Twist mainly. And I broke one Ooh, yesterday. Um, I was digging out some stuff for my daughter. Some painting supplies for Haley because she was painting the bulletin boards in her classroom over the weekend. So lost a nail. Urgh, maybe I'll have to get that fixed. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Hi, Michael. Welcome. Thanks for the share, Michelle. So what do we have going on? Um, as you guys know, if you follow on my blog, um, I posted these two cards. These are both using the seasonal blends. Season, is that, yeah, Seasonal Blend stamp set. This is a promotion going on only in the month of August. So we only have until Friday to order that bundle. Now, I just put an online class on my blog. All the details are there. The online class is $25 or you can get it free when you order the bundle from me. And there's a form there for you to fill out. It'll throw an email at me. I'll send you a PayPal invoice. You pay the invoice, I order your bundle. And then I give you the online class for free. And along with that online class that features 12 cards and a box, um, you will also get a file from me um, any order over $50 placed in my store, you'll get a file from me with 20 more ideas, project sheets that you can download to your computer or print out using the um, Seasonal Blends stamp set. So, let me see. Uh, yeah, okay. So, that's what's happening with that. What else can I tell you? Um, I've had a lot of people lately signing up for my VIP online club. And what the heck is that? Well... When you place an order in my online store, $25 each month for six months, minimum $25 order, you will get a technique card with the technique and instructions and also um, a card made with the technique from me each month. Do that consecutively, consecutively for six months and you will get a $30 um, credit towards any product you would like out of any of our current catalogs. So it's kind of a win-win. Oh, thank you very much, Heather, for telling me to plug my phone in. I do have my phone plugged in. I'm on top of my game so far. So um, if you'd be interested in the details on that VIP online club, just pop me an email and I'll send them to you. My email address is kelly at a stamp above .com. And let's see. Um, if you did not get a holiday mini catalog yet and you have placed an order with me in the last six months, please let me know. You should have gotten a catalog. Now, these catalogs um, come from Stampin' Up! that I ordered to have sent to people that are not local. If you're local, the catalogs are on my front porch. You can swing by any time and grab one. Um, if you're not local, I sent you a catalog. And if you didn't get one yet and you've placed an order in the last six months, please contact me because you should get it. The screen goes blurry and then clear again. Debbie, um, we had kind of an issue with that last week and there is absolutely nothing I can do about that. It is not my phone, I guarantee you. Um, before I started doing Facebook Lives, I really got all my eggs in a row. I went and bought this new phone, which is, is huge storage-wise. I think I paid almost $1,000 for it. Um, I upped my internet service at my home. I'm paying more for that so that I would have a strong enough signal to be able to stream. And why it blurs sometimes and not others, um, I don't understand. So it is not my phone. It is not my phone focusing and refocusing because I did, I made probably 12, 30, 40, 50, 50, 50, 50, almost 20 videos this week and I have no blurry problem with those. So it's a streaming issue and I really don't think there's anything I can do about it. Yeah, so um, Susan, everyone is having issues with their Facebook Lives. Thank you for notifying me of that because like I said, there's nothing I can do about that. But what I can tell you is that you will be able to see what I'm making, okay, um, tonight. And I post all the projects that I make tonight to my blog on Tuesday. So you can see crystal clear photographs of all of them there. 
um, and then there'll be dimensions there also and ordering links for all the products so you can see which ink colors I used, what card stocks I used, and all that great stuff. So thank you, Michelle. Michelle said, even with the occasional blurry, you are awesome. That <laughs> warms my heart um, because this is frustrating when things don't go well on Facebook Live. But again, there is absolutely nothing I can do about that. Just nothing. Okay, so, um, yeah, Suzette, it is nice that you can rewatch the videos. Welcome, Kathy. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so let's see. What else can I talk to you about? Bonus days. Um, bonus days also ends on the 31st, which is Friday. For every $50 you spend before tax and shipping, Stampin' Up! will email you a $5 coupon code. You will use that towards your order in September. So make sure you save those emails. I have a little file that I've been putting them in as I've been placing orders um, so that you can use them in September. You can't call me and say, hey, what's my coupon code? I don't get them. It's just directly from Stampin' Up! So you need to keep track of those. Um, we have a great Halloween project for September with Paper Pumpkin. If you would like to get your hands on that, you need to make sure that you sign up before September 10th for Paper Pumpkin. And you will find in the right-hand column of my blog a link that will take you right to my Paper Pumpkin um, website where you can sign up for a subscription. And um, September 5th. So let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five. I think next Wednesday, our holiday mini catalog goes live. And oh my gosh, you guys, I can't hardly wait. I have a pile of projects that I will be videotaping um, to put some tutorials on my blog using brand new product. Hi, Heather, happy vacation. I know Heather's on vacation right now. Um, and we'll talk about my furniture in just a minute, Chris. Thank you. Um, Kathy ordered two paper pumpkins for October. They're going to be super cute. I just know it. Um, let's see. Once uh, September 5th, the holiday mini catalog goes live. So that's awesome. Remember, you can't order from it until then. Can you earn bonus bucks for ordering the paper pumpkin? I believe you can if you order a prepaid subscription. So that would be a three, six, or 12 month subscription. I think you can get bonus day coupons for that. So yeah. Um, what else happened this week? I've got a little frog here. Um, I was busy, 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 busy. I released two online classes, one last weekend and one this last Saturday. So make sure you go check those out. Online classes are awesome. Um, a lot of work goes into them and I love my customers that can get them for free by ordering the bundle. Um, this particular online class with the blended seasons is, um, I was calling it seasonal blends before. I'm sorry, it's blended seasons. That's why I was kind of looking over here and like, that doesn't sound right. I've been using the stamp set for a good two months. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, there's 12 different cards and a box in that one. And that one's $25. So um, let me know if you have any questions about it. I'd love for you to get it free. And this last week, I didn't go any place. My mom came to visit on Thursday. My mom is a rose mauler. That is a decorative painting technique that's from Scandinavia, I think. And um, hi, Sharon. Um, she came over to our area to take a class with a lady that my mom had bought her books and didn't know the woman was local, like to Wisconsin. And so she met her at another stamping class that she took a couple weeks ago and found out that she does classes here in my area. So she came over Thursday night and we went and watched my niece's volleyball game. They did a fabulous job. And then um, my mom stayed until this morning when she went home. So that was really nice. Um, Kathy's talking about blueberry buckle. I know, blueberry buckle, right? Oh, it's from Norway, Sharon says. She thinks rose mauling is from Norway. That's possible. Um, I know it's across the pond. That's what I know about it. It's a lot of swirls and dots and things like that. It's a very pretty painting technique. So I had um, company, and so that was fun. One thing I forgot to tell you guys last week is 
um, my winner from my VIP page. Now, what the heck is that, right? That's a whole different thing be besides my VIP online club. My VIP page is a special private Facebook group just for my customers that have placed orders from me. So if you have placed an order from me and you are not part of my VIP page, pop me an email and say, hey Kelly, I need to be on your VIP page because we just did a drawing last week and I gave away um, a brand new product from the Holiday Mini Catalog and Cindy Young was our winner. And what did she have to do to win? All she had to do was let me know if she had received her Holiday Mini Catalog or not. So super, super easy um, things to do on there to get entered in drawings. And I would love to have, well, I'd love to have all of you in there, but um, make sure you let me know if you're not in my VIP online club because um, you need to be in there. All right, who are our winners from last week? I've got some great gifts to give away. I have, first of all, the Glitter and Clear Epoxy Shapes. And the winner for that, for leaving a comment, is Kathy Sheldon of Appleton, Wisconsin. So congratulations, Kathy. I will be dropping these in the mail to you tomorrow. And then we have another winner for sharing the video, a huge pack of the Myths and Magic Glimmer Paper. This is absolutely gorgeous. And the winner for that is Brenda Wills. And I don't know where Brenda is from. From She shared my video and she won that drawing. If you guys know Brenda Wills, if you could please let her know that she won. And she needs to get me her address so that I can get this in the mail to her right away. And then, the last winner in my drawings from last week is um, Terry. I'm gonna probably say this name wrong, Molyneux. It looks French. And Terry is from Lindenhurst, New York, and she wins this fabulous stamp set for placing an online order. So congratulations to all of you. I always love to give stuff away. Don't you love to win stuff? Yeah, me too. Okay, let's talk about my furniture. So, um, if you guys are checking things out behind me, uh, yeah, this is brand new. I'm so excited. So, it is my Ikea bookshelf that I bought um, around Christmas time. I went up to Minneapolis with my mom and I bought that, along with two filing cabinets. And I'm super excited. I don't know exactly how my room is going to be set up yet, but I have made progress. Um, I put together my two filing cabinets and this thing back here. Whoops, let me get out of the way. This thing back here. I only stabbed myself once, had a little bit of blood, but um, I, can't, I can't even remember where I, oh, right here. You can't even hardly see it, so it was nothing big. But one of my filing cabinets, um, I showed you guys pictures of the um, all the pieces I think laying on the floor and it was like oh my gosh this is scary I think I'm gonna need to be an engineer they were so easy to put together but on one of the filing cabinets the drawers don't like to close easily and they don't like to open easily like you have to slam them closed and you have to yank them open the one I have right here under my desktop um, is the one that works nicely and I've already moved my paper over it to, because both of my drawers came out and broke <laughs> so it was just in the nick of time. It was a disaster. I said that my top drawer was stuck this far open and it was holding my brights and my, um, what's the other color I have in here? Oh, my neutrals and my bright cardstock hostage because I could only get into it like this much. And yeah, it was a complete disaster. So I got that in place. I think what I'm going to do this week is I'm going to head to Milwaukee. I've taken measurements to figure out what I'm going to do with my room. I would like to have a table in the very middle of my room so I have all four sides to work around. I think that was going to be fabulous. I might take my ribbon shelf and cut that down so it's shorter and put it over here where I don't have any punches hanging on the wall. I think that would be a great idea. Um, and Sharon's asking if I would like to build some new cabinets for her. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm a stamper. <laughs> While I do enjoy woodworking, um, I haven't done anything real serious since I redid my room and I built my cabinet. But um, yeah, so hi, Jennifer. You just moved to Milwaukee from Arizona. 
from no from Milwaukee to Arizona. Okay, I was like, why would you do that? <laughs> okay, yeah, Arizona's nice. Um, welcome. So I will give you an update. I think things are gonna happen this week. Like I'm serious. Um, I'm I have a little bit lighter schedule this week. Wednesday, I think I'm gonna head to Milwaukee to the IKEA store and figure out what I need. So yeah. Oh, you just made a table with the bookshelf. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm planning on doing, Joyce, is I'm going to put that bookshelf under one end, and I think I'm actually going to have two tabletops on top of that, and then at the other end, I will have these filing cabinets and a space for me to, you know, park my butt in, um, but we'll see, and you know what I forgot to do? I completely forgot to tell my phone, do not disturb, so I hope nobody calls me during this Facebook Live, or I'm going to get really mad. Don't call me. <laughs> That'll really mess up my evening. Okay, and then one last thing before we get started. Um, the number of people watching now shows the draw is you, not just the stamping. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you, Lori. That's so sweet. Um, I wanted to let you know, I told you guys last week, I have orders going in every week. I will put an order in every Thursday. And if you are not comfortable putting in an online order, you can contact me and I will put in an order for you. So I just want to let you know that. I know a lot of people that just aren't comfortable um, going online and doing this themselves because sometimes it can get a little confusing. And then if you have any technical problems, blah, that's horrible. But I just wanted to let you know that I have orders going in every Thursday. If you would like to place an order, you can contact me via email. You can private message me, you can text me, um, all kinds of stuff. So I'm happy to help you out with that. All right, and Cynthia was just at a conference in Pewaukee, Wisconsin. Where are you from, Cynthia? And thank you for the share, Sharon. I appreciate it. Are you guys ready for some stamping? I'm ready. I'm excited. Okay, I'm going to flip my phone. Um, stick with me. If we get disconnected because I touched something on my screen, let me know and, well, don't let me know. Click on the name of my Facebook page to refresh your screen until you see me come up live again because sometimes things happen, right? Okay, so I am going to take away the mirroring because otherwise everything will be backwards. And doesn't that look freaky? If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes right now. And um, I'm gonna flip you around, so hang tight. Try to do this as seamlessly as possible. Oh, that was easy. I didn't touch anything. You guys didn't go any place. I think we're still live. <laughs> it's always a bonus. Okay, you can open your eyes. Woohoo! Thank you, Mary, for the update on the amount of people watching me. I absolutely love that and appreciate it. Um, let's see. We are going to be playing around a little bit with this brand new adorable punch box. And this little puppy is so fun. This is called the Darling Label Punch Box. And let's see, it is in the annual catalog on page 45. Another thing that I'm hoping for when I get my new table designed and built and whatever I'm going to do with it is this tabletop will be much more sturdier so that when I'm even cleaning my stamps it won't shake everything because that makes me crazy and I know it's hard for you guys to watch that too. Okay, here we go. Here is the stamp set that comes with this adorable punch box. We have a thinking of you, a hello, a thanks, uh, happy birthday, friend. Congratulations, rock star, and best wishes. So aren't those cute little images? Now, they go along with this punch that punches out this shape right here. And I'm going to see if I can make my screen just a little bit bigger here so I don't miss your comments. Okay, here we go. Will all the blends fit in this box? Well, you know what? Um, Jean, that is a great idea. Let's see. Here are my blends. <laughs> yeah, I've got a ton of them here. 
and I'm thinking that they will fit in here. Now there's that insert in there that you can take out. So this would be kind of a cool little box to use. And mind you, I have doubles of things here because when I use these for classes, I buy extras just in case because, you know, when you have 60 or 70 people using um, the blends for a card, I don't want to have them go dry on me. So I will buy extra. Um, I will buy extra blends in that same colors. Okay, this is our little image. Let's see if I can get this out of here. Here we go. And this even comes with a block. So this is one of those products that makes an incredible gift. It is fabulous. And I want to say, let me see, does anybody, I'm going to check and see how much this is. It is on page 45. My poor catalog here, right here. Oh, page 44, and it's $45. Comes with a stamp set of six, the punch, a block, and two ink spots in Grapefruit Grove and Night of Navy, and a block to mount your stamps on. So it's a pretty darn good deal. And of course, this cute container, and this is a tin. So, oh, love it. Okay, I'm gonna keep this punch out. I'll just set this right over here, and we're going to get to stamping. Now, I have to tell you before I get started that um, I did make these cards last weekend, and if you know me, you know that's a long time ago for me, right? <laughs> so I have a very bad memory, and I think that is in part to some medication that I have to take. Oh, another thing I have to tell you. I had my appointment with my whatever you call your cancer doctor and um, two years ago I had breast cancer and had surgery and um, did the radiation regimen and everything is great now but I had my um, two-year appointment with her this week and I am in great shape so that's good news make sure you're getting your mammograms this is a public service announcement mammograms do not forget to get your mammograms that is how my cancer was detected at a stage zero. So I had like, I was so very lucky. Had I not gotten that mammogram, who knows where that would have gone, right? And I was that person that was procrastinating and my daughter Haley is actually the one who started hassling me. Mom, did you get your mammogram? No, I tried to make an appointment and they put me on hold and then I got disconnected and da da da. There was just a whole bunch of obstacles. And she kept at me, mom, get your mammogram because her friends, um, parents, moms were getting diagnosed with breast cancer and it really was concerning for her. So she kept at me and I finally made my appointment and boom, look what happened. You just never know. So I'm going to bring in um, my cardstock layers here. Isn't this going to be pretty? Woohoo! Okay, so... Yeah, you guys, every year, you do your mammogram every year. I know it's a pain in the butt. I hate going to the doctor. Not because I hate the doctor. I just hate taking time to go do the whole appointment thing. That just annoys me. And um, get it done. Just get it done. So I have got a piece of 5 and a half by 8 and a half petal pink. And I have to, I think I told you guys this last week that this is so much like one of my favorite new colors that I ordered an extra ink pad because I found that for my card buffet, I had like more than one card using petal pink. So I love this color. And then I've got a piece of our petal promenade designer series paper. Remember this? Now that's beautiful, but this is also beautiful. This is the opposite side and it looks like marble with a slight touch of petal pink in it. This is three and a quarter by four and three quarters. And then I've got, is this two pieces of white here? Yeah, actually it is. Two pieces of white, four by five and a quarter. And then I've got a scrap of our, um, what is this called now? Sparkle glimmer paper. Um, yeah, sparkle glimmer paper, and I keep having the ink is low in my printer pop up on my screen. That's annoying. And then I've got a scrap of petal pink, and then I've got a tiny sliver here, and this is a half inch by five and a quarter. Okay, so 
we are going to be using these delicate lace edgelets. I promised you guys after we used this one last week that we would be using the other two, right? So we're going to do that. And I am going to, hang on, I'm going to bring in my big shot here so you can see how wonderful this is. Here comes my baby. Let me move this punch box out of the way. Okay. Now, if I've never told you this, this might be a tip that you're not familiar with. When you are doing very intricate dies like this, we do have a platform called the uh, Detailed Platform. Is that what it's called? I don't know, but we have a platform for it. Um, you can use that, or if you keep your framelits over towards one side or the other on your platform, like right here or right here, the rollers for your machine are right here, and so you get a little bit more pressure rather than putting that detailed framelit in the middle of your big shot. So there's your good tip for the day. And I find that detailed um, dies will cut out better on one side or the other. And I'm just going to run this through See the bouncing right now when I'm doing this? I'm hoping that will be gone with my new table. Okay, remember we talked about this? Doesn't this look like monster teeth or something? There's a smile with some monster teeth. <laughs> I don't know, I'm still gonna do something with it. Okay, let me get this out of the way for a second. And I am going to bring in my big shot tie brush. I had somebody, it was so sweet, on um, my YouTube channel leave me a comment telling me to turn my pu paper pumpkin box inside out and use it with my big shot die brush. And I thought it was cute because I must have had my other um, box that it comes in, which is kind of flimsy, when I did that video. So here it is. That's what I've done. And why did I turn it inside out? Because I have a whole bunch of paper pumpkin boxes. And if I had it right side out, it'd just be another paper pumpkin box because it's this way, I can decorate it if I want to. She suggested that and I may do that. But the other thing is um, I can find it easily because it's not a paper pumpkin box on the outside. Okay, so look at that. All of those little pieces, there's not a single one left in this die, which I absolutely love. Let me see if I can get that glare out of here. But they're all stuck in here, right? So we need to get that cleaned up because I want this ready to roll when I go to use this die again. So that's what I'm gonna use my Big Shot die brush for is to get all these bits and pieces out of here. I think there's only one left. Yep, look at that. I've got one little piece left right there. I can see it. Boom, done. And again, I've said this like a broken record. If I was not able to do something quick and easy like this, I probably would not use these um, intricate dies very often because that would make me crazy to have to pick all that out. Like I would, I would, I would just hate my life. <laughs> okay, now we are going to take this and cut it down. That's why I was kind of questioning what the size was on that second piece of Whisper White. So this piece is um, four and three quarters. So we're gonna make this piece four and seven eighths now. And I'm just gonna cut off that end. And where's my glue? The one thing about my new filing cabinet is I only have two drawers in it. I do not have a little drawer at the top, which is what I kept all my adhesives in. So I'm gonna have to figure out something else for that. Okay, so we're gonna put this together right here. Yay, isn't that already just so pretty? Yes, Linda, it's so feminine. And um, how do you say your name, Saskia? Saskia? She says she loves her trimmer, I do too. I use mine all the time. Okay, so we've got that done. This is going to be our inside piece. And what I'm gonna do here, hang on just a second, is I'm just going to add a little bit of glue right there and take this little half inch piece and I'm gonna put it right up against the edge of my inside layer. And this is just that little something something to make your card a little more spectacular. 
because the party should not end when somebody opens your card. Like, you should still have something pretty, right? So here we go. We're going to put this on the inside. For anybody who's joining late, please remember to click on the share button and share my video. That really helps me and I so appreciate it. And I appreciate it so much that when you do that, I will enter you in a drawing to win some fabulous product from me for sharing my video. All right, and we are ready to attach this to the front of our card. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oops, I see there's a hair in there. Hang on. Yep, I'm shutting. <laughs> okay, gorgeous so far, right? All right, here's a couple little things we're gonna do. You guys saw that I have my Stamparatus out here and I need to get my Stays on Ink hang tight. It's right here. I've got my big bin um, packed up for stamp clubs this week. I have stamp club on Monday and then I have another stamp club on Tuesday. That's my Technique Tuesday people. So. I've got things kind of all over stashed for those classes. All right, we are going to take, I've already got my stamp in here for my layer. So I am just going to place this little piece right here because all I need is a little smidgen stamped with that thanks. And I'm going to ink this up. There's no reason for me to be using the Stamparatus here other than I'm gonna use it for the next portion of my card. Okay, so don't get confused by that. Okay, I want this little thanks. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and we are going to, well, we, <laughs> me, I'm gonna cut this out. Am I missing any questions? Uh, Barbara, she says she's late, but she's seeing me from Southern California, and you just ordered my online class. Yay! Thank you so much. Did you get a chance to look at it yet? Okay, so that's what I did. I just cut out that little thanks, and this is going to be a cute little um, addition to our card. Now, next. Here's what I did. Uh-oh. You know what, when I use window sheets, I have a problem because I can't see them. <laughs> I lose them all the time. Um, yeah, it's, it's an issue. Okay, so I am going to stamp this thanks on a piece of window sheet and that is acetate, see-through material. And I'm using stays on ink because it is a permanent ink that you have to use when you're stamping on um, a non-porous surface. You can stamp on tile, you can stamp on glass, you can stamp on window sheets, um, all kinds of stuff that you can stamp on with stays on ink. Now, why am I using my Stamparatus? Here's the deal. When you're stamping on a piece of um, acetate or window sheet, when you go to push your stamp down, it always slides just a little bit. Like I had to stamp five of these to get this, to get a clear image because every time I stamped, it slid just a little fraction. And I'm like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna make this stop? Right here, I'm like, oh, it was like a revelation. It's like the heavens opened up and said, grab your Stamparatus, Kelly. And so that's what I did. And when you use your Stamparatus, let's see you get an absolutely perfect image because it's not sliding any place. Ah, yeah, I know, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> pretty happy about that. Okay, so we've got this ready. I'm just gonna set that aside now. I hope that's not glaring at you too much because it's hard when you're using something that's shiny like this. Now I am going to come in with my, let's see, I've got my Calypso Coral and my Dark and Light Calypso Coral. So I think you can use either one. You're going to turn this over and we're gonna work on the back. And I am going to, let's see, I wanna see how dark is that? And how dark is this one? That one is so light that I can hardly see it. That'll look great on paper, but not so much on here. 
So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to color the petals on my flower. Just like this. And yep, it's a little squeaky. I had somebody when I was doing something squeaky last week say their dog was like looking at their computer like, what is going on? What is that squeak all about? There we go. So I've got that. Now I'm going to come in with my dark all old olive and I'm going to color these leaves and there we go and then we're going to bring this cute little punch in from the darling punch box and we're going to have to trim off a little bit because I'm too far away to get it all the way in there there we go now this dries instantly, you guys. Here we go. Isn't that cute? Look how cute it is. I absolutely love this. Okay, so hang tight, because we're gonna do some really neat things. Um, let me find my mini glue dots. Nothing is where it should be now because I moved everything. Don't you hate that? My friend Dina gave me some um, adhesive when we were on the Alaskan cruise, and I know I brought it home. I remember unpacking it from my luggage, and now I can't find it any place. So I'm pretty disgusted with myself. Hope it turns up soon. <gasps> Look at how pretty that is. Oops, I'll leave it on there. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? Okay, what are we gonna do with that? We're gonna bring our card in here. I'm gonna need some dimensionals. Let's see if I have a full sheet here someplace. I've got lots and lots of edges that I don't want to deal with right now. We are going to take this paper. Did anybody, what is this called now? This is um, sparkle glimmer paper, I think, or dazzling diamonds glimmer paper. I can't remember, but we're going to take this and again, use mini glue dots right on here. Well, you can put them right on the back of your window sheet. You can put them any place you don't have to hide them because once you do what I'm gonna do here, you can't see them anyways. And I'm gonna take this white glimmer paper. Remember this technique from a couple weeks ago? We did it on silver. Look at that gorgeousness. I was giddy when I made this card. I'm like, oh my Lord, this is the bomb. You know how when you come up with something and you're just so pleased with the way it turned out. Yeah, I get excited about things like that. <laughs> and let's finish up this sweet little card here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it right down here in the corner. What do you guys think? <gasps> Thank you so much for showing the love. This is the bomb. I love this look. Now, remember, I will be loading, thank you guys, look at all those hearts. Um, I will be loading crystal clear pictures of these close up. Let's see if I can get a good close up photo here. Um, close up on my blog. So you'll be able to see crystal clear pictures of these if things are still focusing and unfocusing, which I can't do anything about. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna clean up a little bit here. So while I'm doing that, what are you guys drinking tonight? What is everybody's beverage of choice this evening? I have my beautiful anniversary cup. <laughs> my husband gave this to me for my anniversary. It is like almost the best, one of the best gifts I've ever gotten. And I have Pepsi because it was a long day <laughs> um, and it was hot today. Oh my gosh, I was sweating and I'm not complaining. I love that weather. But I am drinking Pepsi, which has a little bit of caffeine in it not a little, a lot, and a lot of sugar, and that perks me right up. And what are you drinking? Water, water, icy water, water, raspberry iced tea. Ooh, that sounds delicious too. Okay, let me bring this off to the side and put this back. I have another really cool card for you. Okay. Look at this just screams cool, doesn't it? It's like, oh my Lord, look how cool this is. So we are going to now be using this other die. And you know what? 
I am going, oh look, there's one of my hairs. You gotta love that, right? It sticks to the tape. I'm gonna grab the card that we made with that. So hang tight. I'm pretty sure it's right over here in my pile of things from last week. And I cleaned up, remember? See what happens when you clean your room? Ugh, so frustrating. Well, I'll find it. But anyways, I was just gonna, whoops. <laughs> and you trip a lot when your room is a disaster. See if I can find it here really quick. I might have mailed them out already because I know I used one of them. I made two of them. I might have, yeah, I think I did mail it out. Anyways, let's see if I can find it later. Um, so we are going to now use this die. Let me put this one back so it doesn't get shuffled around and I lose it someplace. Again, these are called the Delicate Lace Edgelets. And I almost missed them in the catalog. Like I didn't even see them for the first several runs through the catalog. We're gonna bring in the big shot again. And I am going to die cut on this black, basic black cardstock. And I'm just gonna put this right on here. I'm gonna center it because it's not as long as the die. So I'm just, I don't. I'm going to kind of move it over here so that I can see that I've got it straight because I want to make sure it's straight here. And again, I'm going to run this through on the side of my big shot. Let's try this. <laughs> this will work much better. Yeah, I wouldn't have gotten too far with that one. Okay, here we go. Going to be a little jiggle. Little bit of jiggle. Oh, here comes my low ink again. Thank you, mister, for telling me my ink is low in my printer. Ugh. Oh, Melanie lost the feed. Oh, what did Steve say? He's delicate. <laughs> He's delicate, all right. Okay, I'm looking at the back of this to make sure that it cut out all the way and it does look good. Otherwise, I would just run it back through, but I think it's going to be fine. Let me set that on my new Ikea shelf. <laughs> Pretty excited about that. And you can see here, this just fell right off. I didn't do anything to it. And now I'm just going to take this off. And we've got a couple little bits in the middle here that stuck in there. And not anymore. Oh, there's one more. See this little one right down here, that one? Look at all the pieces are out. Now, again, I want this cleaned out so it's ready to roll the next time I want to use it. I think that we are going to be making um, one of these two cards for my Technique Tuesday group on Tuesday. This is going to be our technique this month. And you know what? I should show you something. Hang on. So, oops. When I talk about that VIP club, that, or not the VIP club, the um, technique, yeah, the VIP online club. This is what you get. So I have brief instructions and the technique on the card, as well as giving you a card made with this technique. So here's some of the techniques that we've done in the past. We've got doodling, we've got the magic water stamping. Remember, I did that last week. Um, this is back when we had brayers, stenciling with framelits, we've got um, shaving cream, marker thumping. So when you join my online VIP club, you'll get a card like this with the technique on it and also a card made with the technique. Oh, you remember this? This is one of my first Facebook Lives that stamp and blend resist on that wonderful celebration paper. So that's what these are. And then you can take all of those and make a booklet. So that's really cool. Yes, Sherry, these are beautiful. What is he saying again, Elaine? I missed something. Did he say something else? Because I told him he needs to. <laughs> he needs to behave himself. <laughs> it's hard to keep him under control. <laughs> okay, here we come with our card. So I am going to, I've got Bermuda Bay here. And this is five and a half by eight and a half. 
and I'm just folding it in half. Then I've got a piece of our um, in color. This is our bright in colors designer series paper stack and I love having these because there's tiny polka dots and then these polka dots and stripes and I think some other stripes in each color. This is Bermuda Bay and this one is three by five and a half. Hang on just a second I've got things falling around here. So I'm going to take this and this is going to go right here on my layer this piece is going to get tucked right under here. So I'm going to glue this one on first. And I'm not gluing this down. Oh, maybe I'll put a couple dots on. But you don't need to add glue to this intricate stuff because where is it going to go? No place. It is going nowhere. But I do want to make sure that I whoops, have this on here straight. And you want to make sure that it's not going off the bottom of your cardstock because then it won't fit in an envelope, right? Now I'm going to come in with this. Yep, that looks straight. I did a good job. <laughs> it's always a little iffy, you know. Then we're going to glue this right in place. I want my stripes to be on the outside here. Okay. There we go. Okay, where's my stamparatus? Right here. And where did those window sheets go? Oh my gosh, you guys. Do you see them? You know how fun this is? Yeah. Um, here they are. Nope, that's not them. It's so easy to lose. Oh, here they are. Oh my gosh, it's so easy to lose them. Because you can't see them. Okay, now this is the image that I'm going to use right here. So I'm just going to put my paper any place, my window sheet. Doesn't really matter as long as my stamp is going to hit it. I'm going to ink this up with stays on and stamp it and again I'm using my stamparatus so that it doesn't slide on me look at that here let me get some white up here look at that awesome right I know okay let me move this out of the way and I'll get my stays on let me put that back in my bin so I don't go to class tomorrow night and not have it and I'm going to use my Bermuda Bay marker. Now I wanted some color on here, so I have flipped it over. You can't color on the front. Let me show you what happens if you color on the front. Oh, well, it doesn't do anything now. Let me see if this is the right side or wrong side. Look at that. The ink is gone. It makes the ink disappear. The alcohol in the Stampin' Blend will make your ink disappear. So you have to turn it over on the back. And for this little image, I am just going to color in the striped area. This is a lot of pressure with all you guys watching. <laughs> uh, yeah. Am I missing any questions? If I missed a question, yes, I do love my liquid glue. Did somebody ask about liquid glue? I always, almost always use liquid glue. Now I have other adhesives, but liquid glue is my go-to. And the reason why I really like it is because it gives you that wiggle room. You know, if you use a tape runner or um, snail, you put that down, you have to tear it up, okay? With glue, you can wiggle it around until you get it right where you need it. And I hang on, I just see a little boo-boo here. Okay, so that's what I did. I just colored that, and now I'm going to bring in my Darling Punchbox Punch. Punch that out. Boom. And then we have some silver glimmer here. And we're going to punch that out. Let me put my <laughs> window sheet away because I keep losing it. And we're gonna do some more glue dots here. And again, don't worry about where your glue dots are. Doesn't matter. You can't see them once you get this on that glitter paper. I'm gonna put this right on here. See if I can get it on there straight. There it is. What do you guys think? Pretty cool, right? Okay, let's finish our card up here. Oh, Heather, I'm sad you're missing club too. I always love having you in club. You are just a joy. <laughs> and I mean that in all sincerity. Okay, so 
I am going to wrap this around three times. One, two, three. Okay, let's get this out of here. And I'm gonna bring this so that it comes in the middle. I don't know why, I'm just weird about it. I like my, I like my bow to be in the middle between the threes. I, I just, it's a thing. Do you think anybody ever goes, wow, look at how she puts that bow in the middle between the threes? Yeah, not a soul, right? But you know how you, you have those things that make you a little crazy? Or maybe, maybe they just define you're crazy. <laughs> because I have a lot of little weird things like that. But I am a joy to be around. <laughs> My husband will tell you. Okay. Here we go. My husband went down to my stepdaughter Stephanie's house. She lives, I don't know, about 50 miles south of us to help her install lights and put up a big screen TV on the wall and oh, all those kind of crummy things. Yeah, it's not fun to do, but she was pretty happy because now her place, she bought a duplex, like she bought half of a duplex and it's just gorgeous. So now she's got all of those little things that need to be done. Okay, here we go. Dimensionals. I'm gonna put a dimensional. Now you wanna put your dimensionals. Ooh, it's pouring outside here. You wanna put them on the top and the bottom. Can you use regular Stampin' Up! markers instead of the blend ones? No, Becky, you cannot. You have to use alcohol markers, which is what our blends are. Um, the regular markers, will not stay on the window sheets. They will just wipe right off. They will never dry. Um, it doesn't work. You have to use the Stampin' Blends. So this is specifically a technique for the Stampin' Blends. And Sian just said, I like your giggle and I love your card. Thank you so much. Yeah, I like to laugh a lot because you know what? It keeps me happy. And it makes other people happy too, I think. Here we go. Okay, I... Did I put anything? Nope, I didn't do anything to the inside yet, but I will. What do you guys think? Is that not really, really cool? I wish I could find that other card. So here's two cards using the delicate lace edgelets. Let me put this back, which I absolutely love these things. You gotta get some. Beautiful, beautiful. And also using that glimmer paper technique. We've got the sparkle or dazzling details or dazzling diamonds or whatever this is called here. And the silver glimmer paper here, colored with Stampin' Blends. You must use alcohol markers and you must use stays on ink, which I already threw over there in my pile. So this used our Darling, what is this called? I keep looking at it. Darling Label Punch Box. It's shown on page 44 in the big catalog, and I'm just going to put my punch back in here to keep this all in one nice little place, and I'll put my stamps back in there, but you get this tin with it. Oh my gosh, this is the bomb. Love it. Okay, now, if you were reading my Facebook page, thank you guys for the love. Yay! I thought it was pretty cool, too. Um... If you were reading my Facebook page, oh, hey, look, I got this. This is the Bright 6x6 Designer Series Paper Stack. And these are all the Brights. Did I say that already? Look at all these fun patterns. Oh, this just looks delicious, doesn't it? It comes in all 10 colors. Mango Melody, love that color. Coastal Cabana, mmm, delicious. Pacific Point, Granny Apple Green. Love, love, love this paper. It's so pretty. If you don't have any of this, add that to your next order. It's just great to have when you're designing cards. And this looks pretty cute, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, okay. Diane says, yes, the tin is perfect for the Stampin' Blends. I agree with you. That's a great idea. I'm going to put some of this stuff away now. Hang on. Let me get rid of my Stamparatus. I don't think I'm going to need that for my next card. Put this away and this away and these two away. So if you were on my Facebook page earlier, you know 
that I said I was going to be doing some pulled string art. And I am so excited to show this to you, I can't even tell you. So I'm going to, hang on, let's bring in, I'm gonna bring in my grid paper here. Because yes, this can be just a tad messy. It doesn't have to be real messy, but it can be a tad messy. And this is a little um, painting palette thing. Now, I, um, I bought this at a, a little craft store. They're really cheap. You can use anything. You can use a Cool Whip lid. It doesn't matter what you use. You just need something that you can, well, a Cool Whip lid maybe won't work. You need something you can puddle some, some ink in, okay? So, here we go. Oh, here's my layers of cardstock. So I'm going to be playing with Gorgeous Grape. This is five and a half by eight and a half. It's just a half a sheet of cardstock. I'm gonna fold that in half. Okay, so I'm just gonna set this aside. And then I've got, let's see, how is this gonna work here? Oh yeah, this is a scrap. I've got a scrap of Whisper White. We're gonna do something with that first. Where did my ink pad go? Oh, here it is. I'm like, didn't I put everything in here that I needed? I'm going to stamp my gorgeous grape with the accented blooms. I'm using that Hello. I use that on Friday or Saturday. Saturday in my video. Friday. And I really like that. It's just a nice little um, stamp to use on an all-occasion card, right? And let me put this away. Then I'm gonna punch it out with the Taylor Tag Punch. Ooh, Sarah says she really likes the pulled string technique. Well, I had a blast with it. I was up till, <laughs> can I tell you guys this? I was up till two o'clock in the morning last night getting this, getting these cards made. Um, just having a blast. And I'm a late night person, it's what I do, so. I, I just find that I'm so much more creative late at night. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I am going to take a four by five and a quarter inch piece of Whisper White cardstock, and um, where's my tape runner? Here it is. I'm going to just put a little bit of my tape runner on the back. Now I'm gonna put this down towards the bottom of my book. You need some type of book. It can be a notebook, it can be an old phone book that you don't really wanna read anymore. <laughs> I don't know, do we really have phone books anymore? But um, it just needs to be, whoops, I'm gonna put this over here. It needs to be some type of a book. Now, this is my Whisper White layer. And then what I found when I was doing this is that I've got a scrap sheet here. This is just some crummy white cardstock. And um, I just found when I did this technique, one side looks really good and the other side didn't turn out that great. So that's why I'm using crummy white cardstock here and my good cardstock over here, okay? And what you really should do is put these two together. Yeah, let me, let me do it like I'm supposed to do it and close your book and then the side will stick over here okay now we're gonna do we're gonna be a little like professor right now we're gonna be a little science professor and oh let's mount this on some dimensionals because you know it's gonna go on dimensionals anyways right <laughs> here we go I'm just gonna set that aside so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take some reinkers and I have decided to use Berry Burst. I know, one of my favorite colors. And I'm doing one, two, three drops. And then I'm using Gorgeous Scrape. Delicious together. One, two, three. And then I just got an eyedropper here. And I'm going to put six drops of water in. And I played around with this a lot last night, and this is just what worked for me. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm gonna set this out of the way before I spill it. 
and this is messy a little bit I mean you can keep it contained but I don't want my fingers to be all purple and pink Berry Burst and Gorgeous Grape are gorgeous colors but I do not want to wear them on my fingers so I'm just gonna put on these plastic gloves I have a whole box of these, by the way. Um, some One of my customers that is fabulous actually gave me a box of these. So that's cool. And it was years and years ago. I'm still using them. Maybe Becky, was that you? <laughs> Could be. Okay, now you're going to take your string. This string is 16 inches long. And I measured it just for you because that's how nice I am. And I'm just going to curl this up. And you're going to push it down into your ink because we want this to get all saturated with the reinker water combo here. That looks really, really good. Kind of stir it around, push it down in there some more. There we go, that looks great. Now we're just gonna take this and drop it right over to the other side into the berry burst. And you just kind of keep twirling it around in there you want to you can stick your fingers in there I'm trying to keep my fingers clean so that I don't get it all over my card push 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 I also have a little tissue here so I can wipe my gloved fingers off because like I said I don't want to get this all over my card front now what about that piece of string that's right there oh you know what I did <laughs> you're supposed to leave a tail so you're supposed to leave a piece, like just a little piece like this that you don't push into the color, but I forgot to do that. So, oh well, that's the nature of live, right? I can't edit that out and start over. So we're just gonna keep going with this. We are going to, now, here's how I did it. I did not find these directions on anybody else's um, idea of this pulled string art, but this is what I found worked for me. I took my string and I, very gently pulled some of that color off because what I found when I put it in my book it was too soupy and I did not like that at all so I'm going to set bring my string in and on my side that is the cheap crummy cardstock I am going to take my string and I'm going to lay it right over here on the right side and I'm just going to Swirl it around like this. And now you're going to leave a little bit sitting out there. Now you're going to close your book and you're going to pull that string out. So all I did was pull it out. And are you ready? I hope this turned out good. Oh my lord. Will you look at this? Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? What do you guys think? What do you mean you saw nothing? Oh, Haley got a whole bunch of stuff done in her classroom. Yay, Haley! I can't wait to see it, honey. Use the middle piece. Well, I could have, but this worked out just fine, didn't it? Look how beautiful that is. So, let's finish our card. Now, you could use this one too, and actually this, is, this one turned out better than any of my other ones on the right side turned out. I do have some splotches all over it, but we're going to fix that up, so don't worry about that. All right, let's keep making our card. I have a bunch of samples to show you guys using this technique. Let me get this out of here so I don't have a disaster. And let me take these gloves off. We don't need those anymore. I'm going to bring in my gorgeous scrape. And I've got a black marker here. We're going to do a little flicking because I want to tone down this big white background. Thank you guys so much. Yay. And yes, Haley, this would be great for fifth and sixth graders too. So you'll have to do this with your students because it is so cool. Did you see what I did there? I just took my marker and I touch it like that. Boom. And flick some black onto my project. And then I'm going to add liquid glue. Glue this to my gorgeous scrape. And then we've got this little piece right here. And there comes my printer's low on ink again. I'm going to have to change the ink because that's going to make me crazy. 
and I'm just gonna take that and put it right here. What do you guys think? Easy, right? It is a little messy, but not bad. I mean, you saw that I kept myself clean. I kept my surface clean. Everything looked great here. I saw this several months ago, this technique, and um, my friend Cindy, who's also one of my team members, she did it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, Cindy, that's so cool, and she said, Kelly, it's so easy. You have to try it. So Cindy, thank you. I finally got around to doing it. Yeah, okay, let, let me show you the other cards I made. So this was a Berry Burst one. So we've got Gorgeous Grape and Berry Burst. Let me get this out of here. And then, how about this one? <gasps> Isn't that cool? These look like calla lilies, don't they? Oh, and Barbara says she did it with her eight-year-old granddaughter. Hers came out better than Barbara's. <laughs> it is. It's so much fun, right? There's another one. Here comes one of my favorites. Okay, so this is Real Red and Pumpkin Pie. This is Bermuda Bay and Lemon Lime Twist. What do you guys think of that one? I used the Happy Birthday Thinlet, and I just cut the birthday off. I also splattered it with the um, black ink. This one, um, I did the same thing. I splattered it and I, I used the Thank You Thinlets. And then I had this one. And with this one, I used the Gallery Grunge, this little polka dot image um, down the side here in the background. And when Haley stopped over and I showed her these cards, she thought they were really cool. But she said, Mom, that one's just missing something. And I do agree, something is missing here. I need to do a little bit more. But this was Gorgeous Grape and Lemon Lime Twist. I'm not quite sure what this card needs, but it needs a little something. Oh, Lori, thank you. You missed the kind of string. Um, I just used white Baker's Twine, you guys. Let me grab some. Regular white baker's twine. That's all that was. And like I said, I had 16 inches. So 16 inches will give you enough space to do the two colors and loop it around like that. So um, you want to loop. You can loop around like this. You can do an S pattern and then loop the bottom. And every one of them is going to be different. It's just the coolest thing ever. I thought this was so much fun. I loved it. Okay, so let me see. Oh, look, it's 8-12. I am right on schedule. We'll go back a little bit here. And this is just a journaling book that I got at one of the Stamping Up um, events. Uh, this is from one of our incentive trips. What does it say here? From 2012. But here are the cards. The cards that we made and then the cards that I did that string technique with. You guys, don't forget to share my video. That really helps me out. If you're watching on YouTube, please click on that share button and share it there also. If you have any questions or need to get in touch with me, feel free to private message me on Facebook or you can pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com. You'll find my blog, www.estampabove.com here. And use this host code when placing your order under $150. If your order is over $150, don't use the host code. You'll get your own benefits from Stampin' Up. You will get special perks from me when you use this host code. I appreciate all your online orders. On Tuesday, you're going to find... Um, all of these cards, I'll have pictures of them there. So if your streaming feed for this Facebook Live wasn't that great, like the quality wasn't that good, don't worry. You'll be able to see pictures on my blog on Tuesday with all the dimensions and all the products that I use. There's links there. So where do you place an order? You go to my blog, www.estampabove.com. Over in the right-hand column, once you get there, is an online ordering button. And you will always find this host code also in that right-hand column. Does anybody have any questions that I missed tonight? And I certainly do apologize. Um, 
because yeah, it's hard to stamp and talk and think and check messages. <laughs> it's just tricky. Now, next weekend, is that Labor Day weekend? Can you guys tell me, is that Labor Day weekend next weekend? I think it is. And if that is the case, I will not be live Sunday night. Um, we might be out of town. I don't know yet exactly what we're doing. Um, and I don't know if I will be making that up, let's say, on Monday night. I'm thinking I'm not going to. So I will be back again. Let me look at my calendar here. So, I, yeah, I think, yep, I think the third is Labor Day. I will be back again on September 9th. Make sure you head over to my blog and check out those online classes. I have one for the Varied Bases Bundle, the Sea of Textures Bundle, the Abstract Impressions Bundle, and now the Blended Seasons Bundle. You can only get that Blended Seasons Bundle um, through next Friday, the 31st, and then it's gone. Um, you order the bundle with the framelits and the assortment number two watercolor pencils, and you will um, get the online class valued at $25 from me for free. And Michelle just asked, how do I store my 12 by 12 paper? Michelle, I have a cabinet that has some big drawers in it and I lay my paper right in there. So I've got packs of paper just stacked up like this. Now I recently started something new. Let me grab it for you and I'll show you. Hang on, cause it's kind of a little dangerous in here right now. <laughs> Um, I just, here it come, here it come. I just got these plastic pockets and these are perfect for 12 by 12 paper. So I've taken the paper out of the like cellophane wrapper. I put that cardboard back in here so I can still see all the colors that match this um, tea room specialty paper. And I've started storing them in here, so I'm just stacking these up on my on my little cabinet thing. So I've got them sitting there. I don't know if this is going to be a good solution for me, but I think it will. And um, I don't have to worry about the edges of the cellophane ripping and then your paper's falling out. And oh my lord. But there's no cover. You know, it doesn't close up here, which is okay with me. Um, because I don't really travel with my paper as a rule. So, do I store my stamp sets laying down or standing up like books on a shelf? Well, let me show you. Hang on. I'm go if you guys get motion sickness, this is the time to not watch. But I'm going to show you how my stamps are stored. This is how I store my stamps. So, I've got extra ink pads up at top. These are my stamps. These are my stamps. Those are my stamps, and that's my candy stash. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> now my husband comes in here once in a while and goes, where's the candy? I know you're hiding some. So there you go. I store mine like this. How I'm going to store them after I get my new furniture figured out, which is right there. Isn't it beautiful? I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in here yet. So let's... Um, does anybody else have any? Where do I buy the folders? Um, Kimberly, I got them on Amazon. And maybe I'll post, um, I'll, you know what? I will make a Wednesday, I don't have a Wednesday tip video ready yet. So I will get a Wednesday tip video together and I will tell you all about those paper folders and how I'm storing my paper. How does that sound? I think that's a great idea. So I will do that for you. Does anybody have any other questions before I sign off? Kelly, I've got some rearranging to do. <laughs> okay. I hope I didn't miss your comment. Um, you're welcome. Thank you for watching. Thanks, you guys, so much for watching. Please make sure if you came on late that you're making a comment because that will enter, enter you into a drawing for free stamps. And... Um, Leave a comment, share my video, um, online orders, you have three chances to win prizes. I think I'm going to sign off now. You guys have a great week, oh, two weeks actually, and I will see you back here on, what did we say, the 9th? Hang on, I'm looking at my little calendar thing. Yep, I'll be back on the 9th.
Oh, could you use the vellum in place of the window sheet? What did Melanie just ask me? Something about using vellum instead of the window sheet. Um, yeah, I think you could. Your colors, Melanie, when you color the back of the vellum are gonna be a little more muted than they are with the window sheet, but I think you could probably do that. Um, I would love to see that. So give it a try. It's absolutely not gonna hurt anything. All right, you guys, you have a good couple weeks. Um, happy Labor Day next week, and uh, keep stamping. Bye-bye.